Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, since I am clearly in a robe, we are going to be reviewing and demoing another facial self-tanner. I had so much fun with the last one, so I wanted to try another one that was a little bit different. We'll get into all those details later in the video, but for today we're going to be reviewing the San Tropez Self-Tan Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist. This was a really, really interesting concept to me. I don't really know how it's going to work. So I was really, really anxious to test this out. Before I start though, please make sure to give my video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. It shows your support to me. So please make sure to do that. But if you want to see my review and my demo of the San Tropez Bronzing Water Face Mist, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Alrighty guys. So... If you saw my last video, which was the Dr. Dennis Gross pads, like the tanning pads, that was kind of one form of facial self-tanner. It was like this wipe, pretty much, that you just wipe all across your face and it gives you some color. That was pretty logical to me because you're just wiping it all across your face. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link it somewhere in the video for you so you can check out that video too. It was a fun one. But this is so strange to me because it's a spray. I can't imagine how this would go on your face evenly and streak free. I just don't know how it's gonna cover every like centimeter of my face. So I find it very weird and very interesting. I wanna test it out. I did see that this was an Allure Best of Beauty winner though, so it must be good. <laughs> we'll see though. Before I end up putting it on though, as usual, I just want to read some facts about it for you guys. So I pulled it up on Sephora's website. It just says that this is for all skin types. It's paraben and phthalate, paraben and phthalate free, so that's good. It's vegan, cruelty free, and non-comedogenic, which we all want. And then it also says Achieve a natural looking golden tan that lasts for days with just one application using new tropically scented hydrating and weightless self tan purity bronzing water face mist. This ultra lightweight transparent mist is infused with 100% natural tanning agents as well as hibiscus extract for its antioxidant properties and uplifting fresh green mandarin water for a new refreshing and uplifting tropical fragrance and no telltale self-tan smell. I don't know how true that part is. They all end up having the self-tan smell, but okay. It says, simply spritz under or over makeup. There's no need to rinse off. The formula subtly develops over four to eight hours into a natural streak-free golden tan that will last for days. So, claims to be streak-free. It doesn't tell you an exact way to spray it, but again, it says it develops over four to eight hours. It's pretty late at night, so I'm probably gonna keep this on overnight, and then once I wake up in the morning and see how things are looking, then I will show you guys what it ends up looking like. So I just went into the how to use section in Sephora, and it does tell you how to use it. So it just says, close your eyes and spray five to six full pumps onto clean, dry skin, applying over face, neck, and decollete. The del the delicate mist easily absorbs into skin under or over makeup as primer and setting spray with no need to rub or blend in. And then it says within four to eight hours it develops into a flawless golden glow that smells beautiful with no transfer onto clothes or bedding. That's very nice because everything transfers onto my clothes and bedding, so I hope this is true. And it also says to spritz this as often as desired throughout the day to refresh the skin and boost the glow. Don't mind if I do. Just spray it onto my face. I have nothing else to say to you guys beforehand, so. I wanna smell it before. Let me spray some into the cap. Oh! It smells really good. It's like super, super fresh and light. It smells like something I've smelled before, but I don't know what it is but I like it a lot. So I'm kind of nervous to spray this. I don't want to spray too much in one area and then it looks bad. So let's just wing it. 
pray for me guys <laughs> all right if i end up tan on this side and not on this side tomorrow oh well all right ready here we go right away when i sprayed it i noticed how fine the mist was like it's super 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 fine it's not one of those mists that'll like spit out bigger chunks at you we've all had that happen with at least one or two setting sprays and it's like the most frustrating thing in the world so it was really really nice that this wasn't one of those the mist was super fine and it really did feel like it was going on super evenly so as far as the application i feel like I'm pretty confident that it did go on evenly. That's pretty much all I have to say about it for now though. I like how it applied. I really, really like how fine the mist was. It dried really quickly, I will say that. And it doesn't feel sticky on my face at all. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously I don't see any color yet. It's probably gonna develop over time. Oh, that's one thing I will say. It's also hard because this is clear. So you can't really see what went onto my face. It's just the same thing so I can't really like fix any mistakes if there are any but we'll see tomorrow I have high hopes for this it's a best of beauty winner so I'm confident that I will like it when I see it tomorrow morning so now I'm probably going to apply the rest of my self tanner onto my body and then tomorrow of course I will come back I'm not gonna wear any face makeup because I want you guys to see how it actually turned out on my face. And I will give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on the Saint Tropez Bronzing Water Face Mist. All right guys, welcome back. It's the next day. So I have taken off all my makeup. Obviously I'm still wearing my eyebrows, lashes, lips, but nothing on my face except for a little spot conceal because it is not pretty over here. It's just a nightmare. But this is what I look like. So I will show you my face. Yes, I had a tanning malfunction here. Don't judge me. But I'll show you my face compared to my hands. Right off the bat, I'm going to say I really like how it turned out. I was really genuinely expecting this to be super splotchy on my face. I thought it was just going to be a disaster because I personally can't imagine a spray working too well as far as giving you an even color. I just don't see how that works. Do you know what I mean? But this actually did a really, really good job. I'm shocked, but that might be also because I sprayed it like a million times on my face. I didn't do the five or six pumps like it told me to. I did like a lot more than that. I, I didn't even count, but I was pleasantly surprised to see how even my face looked. I feel like it really, it's not splotchy anywhere. It's not streaky anywhere. I feel like it's really even. I definitely feel like it gave me some color. My face is definitely darker than it was yesterday. Do I think it's a huge difference? No, I think the Dr. Dennis Gross ones made a bigger difference on me, but I also feel like it's because those were like wipes that you're like pressing into your skin, you're saturating into your skin. I feel like this is more so like a surface tan. Do you know what I mean? Like it's something you gently spritz on your face and you're good to go. Like that other one, like you're literally just like scrubbing, penetrating everything into your skin. And then this one is just like a nice little spray and you're done. So me personally i was kind of expecting that it's not going to be too dark because i can't imagine how dark just like a little spray would get on your face so am i disappointed no i feel like i really like the color that came out i do of course wish it was darker because i would have loved for it to be the same color as the rest of me but that's okay i could probably just do it again and it'll make me darker tomorrow so i'll test that out but I am actually really happy with how it turned out. I just feel like it gave me that really nice little kind of sun-kissed glow. Like I just came back from a day on the beach. I got a little rosy cheek thing going because that's just my skin. But then with like the little tan 
that this gave me i feel like it's like that perfect combo like i literally just look like i came back from the beach so i'm really really liking it the smell you guys did not bother me at all i do feel like it kind of gave off a little bit of that self tanner smell overall i feel like this is a really creative product i feel like i personally really enjoyed it i am definitely going to use it again i just really like the result it gave me again i feel like it could have been darker but i wasn't expecting it from this product just because it's a spray so other than that if you don't go into it with like high expectations for this to be like a crazy dark facial self tanner then you're really gonna enjoy this this i would probably give like a a b plus because I really, 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 really liked it. But of course, when I'm applying a self tanner on my face, I still want it to be kind of close to the color of the rest of my body. I don't want it to be too much lighter. And I feel like this is lighter for sure. So it didn't give me the color that I exactly wanted. But other than that, it's honestly amazing. Like I feel like this is like a really nice kind of like a gradual tanner. Like you can build this up and I'm sure it'll still look good, but as far as like a first impression goes, I'm really, really happy with it. I really like it, and I feel like, I do think it's a little expensive, I will say that. I think this was like 30 bucks, which is kind of a lot for something that's just going on your face. Like you could get a self tanner for your entire body that costs less than this. <laughs> so it is kind of ridiculously expensive but I do really like it. Since I have it, I am going to use it up. I am gonna keep using it because I do really like what it did to my face. So I do recommend it if you have the $30 just lying around or if you wanna get it during the Sephora sale since the Sephora sale is going on right now, you could do that if you've been questioning trying this. So I like it guys. I'm not in love with it, but I do really, really, really like it. I think it's a really good product. So my recommendation is try it. I think you guys are gonna like it. If nothing else, it's very refreshing. It smells very good and it gives you a little color. So it's really nice. It gives you that extra little boost that you need, you know, just to feel like you're a little bit more alive. And that's what I love. Like when my facial self tanner comes out throughout the week and my face is paler than the rest of me, I'm just like, I feel like a zombie. I don't know why. But then if I do something like this, I feel like it'll just like bring me back to life for those like few days before I take off my self tanner and put a new one on. So this is really, really convenient. I definitely recommend it, but that's all I've got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope this kind of answered some of your questions. If you've been questioning getting this, if you've been thinking about trying it, but you're kind of on the fence. So please make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. If you've tried it, if you haven't tried it, let me know what you think about this review of it. Please give this video a big thumbs up for me as usual. It means the world to me. Share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Of course, if you love self tanners, beauty, subscribe, but stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.